welcome to Onboard Tangroa. We're so glad to have you here on our way to Nanaimo. And guess what we're doing in Nanaimo? We're celebrating Abby's 16th birthday. So join the adventure, stay tuned, grab some popcorn, and let's do it. Hey everyone, and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangroa. Two years ago, we decided it was time for our family to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. It is day two of our trip. And who ordered the rain? This weather forecast said everything would be sunny. And it's misty and it's seven o'clock in the morning or earlier because we have to time we have to leave because we have to time samson or not samson narrows where the hell are we going today dodds narrows slack current. We got uh, five knots of current coming out the, the tight end of that. Woo. Super yeah. fun. So we went in at what speed? Uh, we went in at nine knots and we were down to, actually nine and a half. We were down to four. Well that was kind of fun. Good driving. Now it's time to go find fuel. Yes. Isn't that cool? They're actually loading boats onto the freighter. There's a couple big ones on there already. When Blaine and I did this, we were actually on Dock Express. So our boat sank and then we all got loaded on and then the water emptied out. Blaine is filling. This is ready for water. Okay. So crazy thing, we have this seagull that is trying to dive bomb poop on us. And look, he got the inside carpet. He came in at such an angle. He even got my shoes. And then he did it again and just barely missed me and launched it again and hit right there. I would say, judging by his expression, that was completely on purpose. Right there. That was with malicious intent. Hey, malicious shithawk. <laughs> In all 
all fairness, I don't think it was either of those. It was it? I think it was a sh** Because <laughs> shit red. Yeah. So we're filling our backwater tank for the first time. And what do you think? I have no idea. I'm gonna say it's at least 400 gallons at this point, but... It's a lot of water we put in. And our water. water line's gone down about, what, two inches? Oh, that is so nice. Remember that edge was sticking up under the out of the water? Yeah, it's well under now. Oh, this will stop us walking so much. Yeah, it should be some nice additional ballast. Yep. I'll give it back to you. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going, Mike? You don't even see it? And we are out, all fueled up, heading over to Newcastle Island now. We're not really going far, so we're just going to keep the dinghy on the hip and uh, head out of Nanaimo Harbor, which is just over behind us. You grab that mic. Oh, you can. We're just waiting till the seaplane goes by. Okay, so way too close in there. We had to pull up the anchor. We're gonna try this again. We're just gonna go outside of the anchorage a little bit to go to because it's Abby's 16th birthday today and we're gonna go celebrate her birthday is right there and we're gonna go hiking on this island which is supposed to be pretty cool and we're quite excited and my uncle Chuck says if you just throw the crab trap overboard which we're gonna do you catch crabs right here you really can't go wrong so yeah we're just gonna go up here and put the anchor right here between these couple boats spot we did it we are heading to shore on Newcastle Island I just saw pictures my uncle Chuck put up of Molly his dog on Newcastle Island with some cool totem poles and everything so yeah we're quite excited to go uh, check it out you just got to find the dinghy dock that's always a challenge when you come into these new anchorages is to seriously find the dinghy dock where do you think it is Blaine <laughs> oh boy, you are very helpful. Well, someone had a little problem over there. That is a sunk boat. Newcastle Island Provincial Marine Park welcoming pool. Eagles soaring over Jack's Point. In the presence of a bear along the river were signs that the fish were coming to feed the people. <laughs> Who the heck's controlling this dog? Get your dog under control. That's a chicken. That's a chicken. Duck is. Duck is. I don't know what mallard. Is. What does the mallard say? Tiny with all these trees. Just 
just a beautiful walk. Good job, Newcastle Island. What a great park for hiking in. I probably should have worn shoes versus flip-flops, but it's a meander. What's it called? Mallard Lake? Yeah, it's all little lily pads. Mike and Monica headed back the same way we came in and Blaine and I are just going to take the channel trail on the way back just so we can see what we can see. Might as well do a new trail on the way back. Might as well. Might as well. We like loop trails. We like loops, but it's been a great walk <coughs> so far. And they even had an outhouse there, which is like key. It's always good to have outhouses. A little bit of drizzle here though. Uh oh. We're going left. So we just came in. So that's a mine shaft there. Oh, cool. What do you think? Do we want to go check out the mine shaft? What do you think? It's right there. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Of course, it's downhill. Okay, we're going to go check out the mine shaft just because we can. Why not? It's a mine shaft. Let's go see if we can find it. I think this is a mine shaft. We're not really sure. But it's a hole in the ground. You found it? What? Okay. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just found a hole in the forest. <sighs> Okay, I'll follow Blaine to see if he can find the mine shaft. It's harder than you think. This mine shaft better be worth it. Actually, everything's worth it because this park is beautiful. Did you find it? It looks like a, a stone beach oven. I think I just found a hole in the forest. Oh. Holy cow, my legs. Holy cow, I'm so out of shape. Huh. Holy crow. Stacked stone. Oh yeah, look at it. It looks like the machine gun place in some Wallace Island. That's pretty cool. There's po holes. What do you think? The mine is somewhere else, and this is where they made dinner. <laughs> That's like a coolest place in BC. That is not what we were looking at. Well, where is that? Mm. The mine shaft. Oops. Yep. 150 miners died in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. I don't think we found the mine shaft. I think we, we found, found the pizza that. oven. So we did not find the mine shaft, looking at pictures of people put. I don't think we went far enough, but we got to head back for the kids and the in-laws. But we did found a hole and a pizza oven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your hard seat. Uh, Actually, you know what it looks like? You ready for this? A urinal. It does look like a urinal, and it's probably been used as such plenty of times. Think so? Oh yeah. I would go as far as to say that there's probably pictures of people peeing in the tree else. urinal. Yeah, urinating the tree. That's the pile of rocks. Oh, there's the stone quarry. Hey. Okay. Newcastle sandstone and something. Here's Janice. <laughs> We're doing our nice five and a half kilometer walk here, hike. Ups, ups and downs, off-road routes and everything. Yep. And she's got her adventure flip-flops on. Yep. <laughs> okay, I maybe should have worn running shoes. <laughs> oh, well, oh well. Oh well. My uncle 
Captain Chuck said we could catch crab right here. Don't step in the bird poop. <laughs> you gotta get in there. Oh, in there? In, there. in oh. the cage. Oh, bad. Watch this. Watch this. Watch You're this. You're a genius. Skill. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's slippery. Slippery chicken. Okay, close it up. Okay. Okay, now you gotta feed out the line. Hey, birthday girl, what do you think? You think we're gonna catch some, some crab? Yeah. There's a very cool looking <laughs> duck thing out there. He's been hanging out here all day. What is that thing though? I don't know. It's a duck thing you said. Come here. Uh, we are playing a game for the birthday girl called Kill a Sloth. What? Kill a Sloth. What? Come play! <laughs> oh, pinata! Kill a sloth! Yeah! <laughs> what do you think? I love killing sloths. I, I love it. We're gonna <laughs> kill a sloth. <laughs> More fish tacos. Yum, I have no clue what that is. It looks like a lot of deep fried stuff. Halibut and onion rings. Halibut and onion rings. And I think we have a problem. <laughs> no, she's coming with. <laughs> we have a problem. Houston? We are, so we're planning the, the birthday din birthday cake for Abby at 16, and she's going to have sex in a dinghy. We're sharing a sex in a dinghy. <laughs> They're sharing sex in a dinghy. <laughs> Layers of Cool Whip, cream cheese filling, vanilla, and chocolate pudding on an Oreo cookie crumb base. Made in house. They have gummy bear sex now. Yeah, I know. Hey, dear Abby, happy birthday to you. Woohoo, Abby. No, one, one fork. <laughs> <laughs> they only gave us one fork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they have against me? <laughs> it's not your birthday. So how's that sex in a dinghy? I haven't tried it. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Pretty dang good. <laughs> Very good. Very good? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh. Dust bath. Everybody, 
That is a lot of otters. So we just had a lovely dinner, absolutely great. And now we have done a 180 degree swing. So our crab trap is like way off our bow right now. So I'm gonna go grab the crab trap and bring the float to Izzy on the bow and her and Abby are gonna pull it up. Are you pulling it up? Yep. Yay. Hi. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Holy cow! That's a lot of crap. <laughs> wow. oh, Woohoo! Bring it up, Izzy. Blaine. They really like the chicken. Big boys. <laughs> Apparently. Big boy. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! He's That's angry. Boy. You're going to get you. <laughs> girl. You're going to get you. Be afraid. This one's a girl. <laughs> you have a good tail. Beehive or? Beehive? Oh, yeah. Short? That one's got to go over. Think of something angry. You know, you don't you know, keep girls. Wow. <laughs> that one's so we're going to have two big ones. For sure. Want me to throw him over? Yep. That one's too small. I want to toss him over. Six and a half inches. Why he angry? Across the field. Be free.